Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Does power really corrupt? Or is it the person behind the power who chooses to abuse it? One such type of person who gets off on abusing their power is a bully. A bully is someone who uses their strength and power to harm another individual. A bully is a label that most people do not wear proudly, but almost everybody gets bullied at some point in their lifetime. Bullying can be so extreme that it can bring physical harm to some people. Now, there are two particular types of bullies that I want to talk about. One is a verbal bully. And verbal bullying is when someone uses language to gain power over someone else. Verbal bullying has no physical effects on people, but it does have a potentially long-lasting psychological effect on people, like lowering one's self-esteem or giving them depression. The next type of bullying is emotional bullying. Emotional bullying is closely related to verbal bullying because verbal bullying is often used when bullying someone emotionally. Emotional bullying is defined as using emotional relations to gain power over another person. Dan Schneider is being accused of such acts. Hello everybody, good morning, happy Labor Day, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about how Jeanette McCurdy's book has basically triggered a domino effect by landing Dan Schneider in hot water. Now without any further ado, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the video. Daniel James Schneider was born January 14th, 1966. He's an American television producer, screenwriter, and actor. After appearing in mostly supporting roles in a number of 80s and 90s TV and film shows, Schneider decided to devote himself in doing behind the scenes production. He's the co-president of a television production company called Schneider's Bakery. But on top of that, he also made a lot of our childhood favorite shows like What I Like About You for the WB, All That on Nickelodeon, The Amanda Show, Drake and Josh, Zoe 101, Ike Harley, Victorious, Sam and Cat, Henry Danger, Game Shakers, The Adventures of Kid Dangers, the list goes on. But after all the stuff he's done for Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon decided to part ways with him. So after all the content that he had created for Nickelodeon, in March of 2018, Nickelodeon announced out the blue that they had parted ways with Dan Schneider. Now, what's very interesting is that it later on came out that Nickelodeon paid Dan Schneider $7 million to leave the show. There were a lot of whispers coming out about Dan Schneider via social media and especially on YouTube. The book, I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy, couldn't hold herself back from opening up about the abuse that was happening on the set of the Nickelodeon shows that she appeared on. A lot of this stuff was also in the trending topic of Me Too on Twitter. And so in the Me Too hashtag concerning Dan Schneider, there were a lot of talks of Ariana Grande, Jamie Lynn Spears, Amanda, and so many other people being sexualized by Dan Schneider. So it only made sense that Jeanette also included that in her book. Can you imagine giving alcohol to a child? Well, that's exactly what happened on the Sam and Cat show. Jeanette McCurdy, she basically revealed that Dan Schneider, aka the creator, would give her alcohol on set. She also said that not only did he supply alcohol on set to all the minors, but he would also request massages from them as well. She also revealed in her book that when she was leaving the show, Nickelodeon offered her around $300,000 to stay quiet, but she chose not to take the hush money. And she also felt that people needed to know the truth about Dan Schneider and his innocent chubby wubby face. That after Sam and Cat was canceled, Nickelodeon offered her a $300,000 thank you gift if she agreed to never speak publicly about her experience at the network, specifically with a man she refers to as the creator, who on one occasion, she says, encouraged her to drink while she was still underage and gave her a shoulder massage. 
In response, Nickelodeon telling ABC News, we have no reportable response other than a no comment at this time. Even though Dan was fired back in 2018, they claimed he was simply fired because a thorough investigation on Dan found that he was guilty of verbally abusing the staff members and the colleagues who worked at Nickelodeon. But they refused to look into the abuse that was going on with the kids on set. A lot of Dan's drama started with the show All That. The show All That was written by Dan Schneider, and that's exactly how he got into the Nickelodeon network. Nobody really knew that he would turn Nickelodeon into a multi-billion dollar network and that he would become the Norman Lear of children's television. His first official show on his own where he had full control was The Amanda Show. And that show starred Amanda Bynes, who was also living with him at the time because she wanted to be independent of her parents' control. So think about that. This young teenager went to go live with the producer of a Nickelodeon show. That's insane. Now, what's even more amazing is that he never hired female writers. Kayla Alpert, who was a co-writer on the show All That, said she couldn't hold herself back from mentioning Dan's biases, especially towards women. She says even though a majority of his shows were about teenage girls, he refused to hire female writers because he claims that women cannot be funny. And Kayla's not alone in saying this. Another writer also confirmed Dan's biases towards females. Liz Feldman not only confirmed that, but also stated that he behaved very inappropriately on set. 33-year-old victorious actress also has something to say about Dan's abusive behavior. Daniela Monette mentioned how she was made to wear certain clothes that were not age-appropriate at all. Not only that, she also mentioned that she would never wear these clothes even at the age of 33. And she wished that things were not so sexualized during her time on the show. Another female writer of The Amanda Show, her name was Jenny Cleegan. She filed a lawsuit against Storybook Productions for not providing a safe work environment. She also mentioned gender discrimination. And she also talked about how she was constantly getting requested to give massages. Said that, that Dan would come on set and he would offer people, you know, money to do unusual and embarrassing acts. Now, if you watch any of Dan's shows, then you must have felt at some point in time the stars were overly sexualized. There are a lot of feet jokes. There was a lot of inappropriate innuendos. So a lot of things watching it as an adult definitely makes me feel more uncomfortable now than it did when I was a child. First things that created a scandal around Dan Schneider and his time as a creator on Nickelodeon was his obvious obsession with feet. From being the subject of numerous jokes to being featured in every other scene, you can't watch any Dan Schneider show without seeing or hearing a reference to feet. I write hat of spoons and we get hat of spoons. A hat of spoons. This is why I'm in Hollywood. Yeah. Eat your cereal, kids. Did she say nice things about me? Because I will tase her if necessary. <laughs> Uh oh. I have the taser. We haven't had to use it in a long time. But I said lots of nice things. So I said nice things about you too. Oh. Cool. Remember that episode of iCurly when this British guy came on the show and called everyone a bunch of hobnockers? I swear you're all just a bunch of hobnockers. Hobnockers? I'm going. So I looked up what it meant on Urban Dictionary and. What is this show? Sometimes I wonder if you can get juice. From a potato. Throat is my instrument. I'm a throat player. <laughs> Doesn't count. And it sounds kind of gross. Today, my special guest is the executive producer of the Amanda Show, Dan Schneider. Hi. Right. Richard Molly. 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 Richard Molly.
Now, speaking of Zoe 101, a few years ago, Alexa came out and said that she didn't like how Dan would make Jamie do a lot of inappropriate things. There was a scene where people are basically squirting stuff on Jamie's face to make it look a certain way. There's also been longstanding rumors that the real father, Jamie Lynn's baby, was actually Dan Schneider. It's very creepy to think about, but the way that he really sexualized her on that show, I see why these rumors have ran rampant for years, and they're still running rampant even in 2022. But the biggest rumor is that he's the real father of Britney Spears' younger sister, Jamie Lynn Spears' first child, Maddie. Jamie Lynn Spears was on track to eclipse her older sister in fame when she dropped out of Hollywood in disgrace because of her unplanned pregnancy at 16 years old and refused to get an abortion. She claimed that the father of her daughter was her then boyfriend, Casey Aldridge, but many people, including some of her friends and family, believe that Aldridge was paid off to pretend that he was the father to conceal who the real child's father is. Friends have said that Jamie Lynn was no longer even seeing Casey at the time, and family members told Star Magazine that they believe the real father is a much older executive at her children's TV show, Zoe 101. Now, the content that made things really messy for Dan was the show The Slap. And basically, the point of The Slap was to show exclusive character content, and they would post this on YouTube. And um, the show Sam and Cat was really popular back then, and Ariana Grande played Cat. So they had a category called Cat's Random Thoughts. And Ariana Grande can be seen in these random thoughts, sucking her toes, pouring water on herself, saying that she's soaking wet while laying on a bed. And then on top of that, she's squeezing a potato, but it looks like she's giving the potato a hand job. Child, all this mess was totally directed by Dan Schneider. Now, all of these video clips didn't really go viral until somebody decided to do a whole compilation of them. And then once the compilation came together, people were shocked and it went viral around 2019 and it had over 11 million views on the video. Now, last week, if you guys don't know, Alexa Nicholas, um, who's best known for starring on the Nickelodeon show Zoe 101 with Jamie Lynn Spears, she recently staged a protest outside of the company's headquarters in Burbank, California. Now, she did this last Thursday. The 30-year-old basically said that she did not feel safe during her stint on the series, and she detailed alleged abuse that she faced by the hands of Nickelodeon execs. The actress is now campaigning for the network to toss out their non-disclosure agreements because they were detrimental to the child stars. She feels like the child stars should be free to express themselves without fear of being prosecuted or sued. At the protest, Alexa, who leads the organization Eat Predators, which advocates for survivors of sexual abuse, the alleged work environment was not safe. She says, I did not feel protected at Nickelodeon as a child. And I'm demanding that Nickelodeon starts protecting children and not predators. I did not feel safe around Dan Schneider while I was working at Nickelodeon, she said in the video. Around 20 protesters showed up with place cards and signs that read Sickelodeon and Predators. Others displayed snaps of several Nickelodeon higher ups, including Schneider and other network execs. We got here Dan Schneider, and to me, he is the creator of childhood trauma. Uh, he is a huge, uh, he played a huge role in my personal childhood trauma. I did not feel safe around Dan Schneider while I was working at Nickelodeon. Actually, every time he came on set, my body got extremely tense. Him and a bunch of the executives made me cry in a room alone, and I don't think any child uh, should have to experience anything like that, especially if it's coming from people that are supposed to be looking out for the kids on set. Well, I would like Nickelodeon or someone actually external to Nickelodeon, not Nickelodeon, to investigate Schneider's Bakery. Um, there was footage on Zoe 101, Zoe 101 alone that when I look back at it now, I'm deeply uncomfortable by it. Even if you say you didn't know or you were just being like, you know, childlike or whatever, I don't believe that because an adult should know how that could be seen uh, to others and it puts kids in a vulnerable position. Schneider's Bakery lawyer actually called me in 2019 asking me to come into a room with Dan Schneider to come up with some type of agreement. Uh, and so I'm guessing that was probably an NDA. I'm not fully sure, but it sounded like it. So Schneider's Bakery tried to silence me. So I would like them to investigate. No more NDAs! No more NDAs! No more NDAs! No more NDAs! 
So what does Dan Schneider have to say about all of these allegations? Because as we all know, he's been going viral the last few weeks as, you know, Jeanette's book came out and more people are coming out against him. So this is what Dan had to say. He was recently interviewed by the New York Times. When asked about his interactions with the child actors on his show, he said that it was comedy and the comedy was totally innocent. Not only that, he also denied the attempts to sexualize any child actors. He went on to say this, whatever I do next, I wanted to outdo what I've done in the past. And also, let's not forget that social media can amplify any lie. So that is what Dan Schneider had to say. Do you believe that all of this is a lie and all of this is a conspiracy against Dan Schneider? Or do you believe that where there's smoke, there's fire? So I leave that question up to you guys. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Please make sure to leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Also, don't forget to like the video and share the video. And last but not least, make sure you're still subscribed to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.